Hey guys, it's Arthur, and today we're gonna to be dialing in medium roast coffee on a flare signature and an Easy Presso JX Pro. First, I wanna talk a little bit about these beans that I, I got. So I'm gonna just be showing them over here. So these are called, it's actually from a brand that I really like called um, Woodbury Coffee Roasters in, they're based in Tokyo. Let me put this up here. Now one thing I like about these is that they're really, they're local roasters to Tokyo, but they have some amazing variety. I just had some, um, what do you call it? Some anaerobic, um, anaerobic processed beans that tasted like peach and pineapple. It was amazing. And this is their, this is their pretty um, typical Nikotama blend. And it's actually, um, it's actually a kind of a medium roast. Let me share with you what it's like. One thing I like about these guys is that on the bags, they have a little card here that you can then keep. And on the back, they have information about it. I'm gonna give a little close up later, but you have a bunch of information about the beans here, like the location and stuff like that. It's, it's great. Now we're going to open this, ah, oh, open these up like that. Okay, now let's look at the beans a little bit. Okay, so I forgot to bring a white, I forgot to bring a white, Stop. So I'm just going to be using this here. So you can see here that these beans are actually kind of, um, they're not really super dark, but they're not really that light. Like the anaerobic, the anaerobic beans that tasted like pineapple and peach were um, pretty light roasted compared to this. And this is kind of in the middle. This is what we call medium roast. Okay, well, let's, let's get this going. We're going to be doing a 15 gram dose, 15 grams in, 30 grams out. And let's see how it goes. And so for this, what I'm gonna do is what I normally do, which is I'm gonna start off at 190. So it's gonna be one full rotation. So it's gonna be one full rotation. Then I'm gonna go up to the nine. And it's gonna be zero. So it's gonna look something like, like this. That's, that's what it's gonna, let's put these in. Okay. And let's start grinding. So one thing that you're gonna find is that medium roast beans are denser than espresso roasted beans. So what that means is for the same amount of weight, they're gonna take up less volume. So like last time when I was doing the espresso roast and um, the 15 grams were almost overflowing the basket, you're not gonna really find that on this. I'll show, I'll show you with this and we'll do a comparison later on. Let me just finish grinding these guys. Okay, so now we've purged it and we finished grinding the rest of this. It should be about 15 grams. Okay, great. All right, so now we got this going. All right. Let's take this out. All right. So first of all, look at this. There's like no overflowing from this because like I said before, you know, medium roast, it tends to be a deeper, tends to be um, a deeper, um, higher density, so it takes up less space. I have like a good, almost like half a centimeter of space above here, yeah. Okay. Hey guys, check this out, this is beautiful. Okay, all right. Now, what I'm gonna do is just starting off standard, I'm gonna do a 95, I'm gonna do 95 degrees water on here. Now I'm gonna take out this bowl, just I'm gonna be using for preheating. Put this together, preheating it on a boil, so 100 degrees. That's not already. Okay, so now just gonna put this in, put this on, and then we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. I'm gonna take the cap off of my kettle, let it cool down faster. Yeah, we're just gonna wait. Great, okay, so we're almost at 95. The water's at 97 now. I put my GoPro here to help with uh, shot profiling. So I'm gonna take this guy out. Now water normally goes down a couple of degrees Celsius when you're using this. So I'm okay with doing this right away like this. Okay, great, okay, water's in. Let's put on the pressure cap. And I'm gonna try to keep this for standard nine bars the whole time. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, ready? First, a slight pre-infusion at around three bars. Okay. 
let it go a bit. Okay. Now we're going to do nine bars and it's not going through at all. This is going to be a restrictor shot, guys. Whoosh. All right, so this is definitely not coming through at all. I'm just getting a couple of dots here and there. But I'm at about, I'm gonna do a restrictor, so I'm gonna do this one in, one out. Let's see how this goes. Okay, great. All right, so let's talk about what happened here. First of all, yeah, that's, very, that's acidic, it's under extracted. But it's not really that harsh. So one thing I really love about these beans and about medium roasts is they tend to be kind of forgiving. So um, I would still drink this anyways. But all right, let's talk about what happened. So possibly what happened was that I didn't purge correctly. You know, maybe there was still some beans stuck in here on the finer side of things. So I'm just going to just one more time, I'm going to do the same process. So I'm going to do one, nine, zero. Going to do 90 at 95 degrees, 15 and 30 out. We're going to see what happens. All right, I'm now ready to get this going again and try this again. Let's see what happens. Everything's the same. I just redid the settings. Okay, I put a little bit too much water in that time. It's too excited to get this going, I guess. Okay, all right, ready? I'm going to start with the slight pre-infusion at around three bars. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow. Wow, look at that. All right, now I'm going to nine bars. Holy crap, I can hardly even get this up to nine. This is like, yeah, I can only get this up to seven. Wow. Okay. Ooh, this is so fast. Oh, jeez. Wow. Guys. Wow. What can I say? It was because I didn't clear it correctly, so... Yeah, you guys want to always make sure that whenever you change your grind setting, even if it's just a little bit, you change. This was only a difference of about two, but look at this. That was just so fast. Wow. And I was so excited that I forgot to catch that one. All right, let's 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 taste this. Let's see how bad this tastes. Okay, ready? Wow. Super, super acidic. Now, I wouldn't say it's under extracted. If you really like acidic coffee, like, you know, what they get, what they serve in Seattle a lot of the times, I think this is great. Um, if you want to get more of that chocolatey taste out of it, then you're not going to really like this very much. Like this says blueberry, orange, walnuts is like taste profiles on it. So you should expect it to be a little acidic. But yeah, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit, a little bit darker. I'm just going to throw this. This is my, my wife's latte fund. So all the... All the water that I, all the espresso that I don't make, she'll put in her lattes. So let's talk about reflections on this one. So this one went super fast and I got a lot of acidity in it. So what that means to me is that, well, I ground, I grinded the coffee too fine and uh, yeah, it didn't come out so well. I want to get a little bit more chocolatey flavor. I want to get more of that nutty flavor that I like from these beans. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grind it a little bit finer and I'm going to keep the settings all the same. So I'm going to go from, one, it was 190, because it came out so fast, I'm going to go to 182. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm grinding it on 182, just two clicks down. And one thing, that, one thing that's really important to remember is you need to purge. Last time it didn't work well because I didn't purge my grinder. What that means is basically you just, when you change a grind setting, you have to throw away some beans. You have to push out all the old grounds. Last time I only did about 0.3, maybe half of a gram, and this time I did one full gram. We basically just take this. All right, so now everything should be good. I'm gonna tamp. And I'm spilling coffee beans everywhere like a menace again. Man, if we had like a espresso championship for the messiest espresso preparer, I'm pretty sure I would, I would win. Look at all these grinds, it's gross. No, just kidding, I love, I love grinds. Got it all set up. Uh, we've preheated this. The The water is at 95 degrees. So we're just gonna put it in. And now let's let's try it. So this is now, like I said, 95 degrees, 15 in, 50, uh, 30 out, at 183 grind setting. 
All right, so now just go for a short three bar pre-infusion. See what happens. Okay, now it's coming out a lot more cleaner. Okay, now let's go up to nine bars. Okay, this is a lot more controlled. You can see it coming out. Great. Okay. Okay. Let's taste it. Gonna mix it up a bit. Mix it up a bit. First of all, just just look at this. This is beautiful. Here, let me let me share it like this. Look at that. That's beautiful. A little bit of acidity, but I'm getting a lot more of that like nutty, almost chocolatey flavor in it. Okay, I'm almost there. What I'm gonna do now, because I still wanna get more of that chocolate, less of that acidic flavor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind a little bit finer. It came out pretty good. Um, but I think if I go down just one more point, I can get that much more like unction out of it, unctuousness, like at what, I don't know, James Hoffman said when he was interviewing, when he was showing the Olympia Cremina, I think I can get that richness out of it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that next. Just putting it here. I'm really just gonna turn it one more dot that way there. So that's, that's what we're doing. I don't have a knock box yet. Say okay, like, I think like these little espresso pucks are so cute. I mean, I, I'm gonna call this one Jerry. Sorry, Jerry, if there's a Jerry out there watching, I'm sorry, I'm using your name, but I hope you understand. I mean it as a compliment more than anything else. Great, wow. I got this to 15.01 grams. I'm a beast. Okay. All right, once again, I'm gonna do this at a steady nine bars. Let's go. All right, so a three bar pre-infusion. See what happens here. Okay, it's coming up pretty nice. Okay, now going up to nine bars. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful color. Such a rich chocolatey color. Okay. There you go, okay. Here, come check this out. Beautiful, beautiful crema. I love, I love this machine. Okay, well let's, let's mix it and let's taste it. Let's see what this is like, okay. I'm still getting a little bit of acidity in it and it's still, I'm getting more of the chocolatey flavor but the acidity is still kind of strong with this. So what I'm gonna do actually is, you know, it could be that the brew temperature is too low. You know, so normally with like really dark espressos, um, with really dark coffee, dark roasted coffee, you can brew at a lower temperature because the, the beans are so, um, they don't have very much density. It's easy to kind of erode the puck, erode the beans. But when you get to like the lighter roasts, uh, you need to increase the water temperature because you need to get a fuller extraction. You need to use more energy in the water to extract more. So right now, like I said, I think dialing in as far as the flow rate is going, I'm pulling like 30, 35 um, seconds per shot, which is great, that's what I want, but I'm still getting that acidity. So next time, I'm gonna keep the same settings, but this time, I'm gonna raise the temperature up to, let's see, it was 95, maybe last time was 94, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna do it right off the boil and see what happens. Oh yeah, okay, this time. Stuck on, oh, that's hot. Ooh. I have this puck that doesn't wanna come out. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna call this guy Chester. James Chester, I, I just, I mean nothing but love, I promise. And a joke. So one thing I wanna remind you guys about this one is, you know, we're not changing the grind setting. Now we're just changing the water temperature. So I don't need to purge my beans at all. I can just go straight up and uh, just grind them. Really fast! Ah! We should, uh, I thought that'd be cooler than it actually was. <laughs> 
this part of the grind is so like satisfying for me just having it spin like this. Ooh. Okay, 15.01. I'm like, either there's something wrong with my scale or I'm a genius. I'll choose much good. This has been preheated. Um, this has been preheated and uh, I'm just gonna get this right off the boil. It's now at 95 degrees Celsius. Now it's right off the boil, right at 100, okay? So this is like for serious hot stuff, okay? Still at, it's at 99, 100 right now, okay? So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try and do um, 15 in, 30 out. Let's see how it goes. Start off with a basic three bar pre-infusion. Okay, looks nice. Okay, now we're gonna go up to nine bars. Oops, let me try again. Okay. Great. All right, this is coming out slower than before, but it could have been my puck prep. Maybe it wasn't as consistent as I wanted it to be. Great. Okay, so this was a super long extraction. Let's see. Okay, look at this. Got some nice little tiger striping going on there. Okay. Okay, well, let's try it. Oh, this is, okay. So guys, this was actually quite a long extraction, but I did get a much fuller taste out of it. I got more of that chocolatey, kind of a little bit on the verge of bitter, but it really wasn't that bitter, but I get this nice, Chocolate, I have a little bit of that um, acidic flavor still in it. That's just a feature of medium roast beans, but it ends in a very nice chocolatey taste. I'm gonna drink all of this, this is great. Mm. Oh yeah. So yeah, so basically, you know, it has a little bit of a tang. I wouldn't even say acidic, I'd say almost like a tang to it, just, just a little bit. But it has that nice like chocolatey, nutty flavor coming out of it too. So what I feel like is, you know, it did take longer. Um, this extraction did take longer than I thought, but you know, sometimes a longer extraction can bring out more of those those flavors. So I think I think I dialed it in pretty well. This was at 181 on the Easy Presso JX Pro, and I did 15 grams in, 30 grams out, at like 98 degrees. It was wonderful. I love it. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about today's session, please let me know in the comment box below. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Uh, it shows that it helps me know what kind of videos to make for you guys and helps the YouTube algorithm so I can continue to do this more and more for you guys. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.